Hello friends, we back here for another Ruby reaction. Today we'll be checking out Volume 6, Chapter 6. Let's get it! Oh, Dude! So in the last episode, we... What did we get? So they went to this house where there's dead people. We got to see... Cinder and Neo unite. They had a battle and it looks like they're they may be working together So Adam right there we We still haven't seen Adam like aside from the opening um, And it looks like we may this this part This part may have something to do with like the cellar they're at right now because you know just because it has they're both underground that could be it but this part though whoo, Salem looking at Lord Austin dude Austin is the man it's very hard to fault Austin at this point like yeah he lied about wouldn't say lied but not uh, say the whole truth about you know uh, Salem. I doubt I doubt the other headmasters know uh, that as well. But you get it right. Uh, they might like lose hope. They might feel like uh, the battle is pointless and all that. But you know, the other option is death. So what are we talking about? Oh, he's drinking. The storm's cleared up for now. We should be able to leave by morning. That's good. No. I don't have a good feeling about this place. Especially with me around. Yep. And, you know, Are alcohol you doesn't really help. Okay? <laughs> sure. Tell everyone to get some sleep. I'll wake you guys up just before sunrise. It's a diary. The head of this household, Bartleby. Apparently, he and several other families founded this little settlement to try and live on their own. It sounds like it worked. At least, for a spell. Grim. Just one of many hardships. Mm -hmm. Slowed down their farming, made everything harder. It's yeah, you shame, know, really. Grim in general can like make fuck society up. Fellow. Always thinking of new schemes to overcome the all. Hey guys. Crow said we should get some sleep. We're gonna head out early tomorrow. I wonder if this Bartleby character is gonna be relevant to the story or it's just like a side side block. The last thing you'll catch me doing is letting some kid tell me what to do. Go to bed. Oh Maria. It's one of those uh, stubborn old people. But talk about the good old days, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Like in my time, yeah, well, I don't want to hear about your time. Wow, he fell asleep holding the bottle. Wow, I could never do that. Hmm. Close window. <laughs> Imagine if Ruby had licked the whistle from volume one and like What the world is wrong with you? Overslept. Damn Ruby. <laughs> Ruby ain't playing around. Oh, right. Sunrise. Hmm. 
You know, you can talk to me about stuff. Yang too. Let's just get out of here. There. Can we just go back to bed? Oh, if did they use like dust we to like weld that this. on? You wanna make it? Not really. Yeah, I didn't think so, Blake. You guys got the bike ready? Mm. Well, it's done now. So let's hook this thing up and... <laughs> Oh shit. You Dude. people are just beacons for bad luck, aren't you? The nail on the head, Maria. Nail on the head. I'm starting to think the universe just Dude, doesn't want to. That's what I was saying. It must be a nightmare traveling with crow. Sure Shit will it's happen more that. than usual. It's everything. And not a good one. Storms, crashes, monsters. I'm so tired. Me too. It feels like we're always having to fight to get by. Yeah. But that's what we signed up for. We signed up to try and save the world. Not just delay the inevitable. Uh, I mean, without a plan, we're just kind of delaying the inevitable, right? Like, why are we even going to Atlas? That's what I thought as well. Uh, people will have this train of thought. Why? We have to. Why? Osbin hid the relics behind giant doors under enormous schools, but. How long would it take Salem to find a lamp in the middle of nowhere? What? The Grim might- They'd find it eventually, sure. But bury it or just throw it down the well, it would take years. It might not even happen in our lifetime. Yep. That's fair. Or we could be done with it now. Like, if you're selfish enough and you don't really care about humanity in general, you could do that. Um... I am really tired. Okay, something's going on here. At first I was thinking if, you know, they're just not motivated, but the fact that Ruby has those eyes that look like she's really drained even though she just slept o overnight. Look at them! They all have the same it's face! Okay. No! No! There's something down there! I saw it! It was looking at me! Is the is the thing down there the one causing it? And you also have this like it's okay. horror-esque so uh, theme it's going on. Nothing. Now let's go. What's wrong with you? <laughs> we can't just leave. What's wrong we with you? Go down there. We have to get the lamp back! Oh, what was I thinking? All we have to do is fix this trailer. Hey farm boy. Check the shed for a spare. I'm not leaving without the lamp! <sighs> I'll go down with you. We'll go down together. Fine. I'm surprised Yang didn't say that. Like, you would think Yang lamp. would be, you know, 100% behind Ruby. Where are you going? Where do you think? <laughs> <laughs> <Stupid. laughs> I need a drink. Dude, I wonder if you get older. Like, I know old people drink, but, you know, why isn't Maria drinking? Is it just not one of those, or is it because Maybe when you get older, you, you know, you don't like alcohol as much as you would uh, when you're in, like, your mid-twenties and such? Like, me personally, I don't really drink alcohol. Like, I do it if, you know, there's a birthday party and whatnot, but, you know... Just, I, I don't really like the taste, personally. Which apparently is a good thing. Oh, come on, where is it? Turn off your lights and just look for the glow. Okay.
The huntsman pointed them out to me. There. So Maria's probably gonna find something significant in those books. The apathy? Is that what it is? The grim makes you like apathetic? Like Guys, no emotion? I Holy shit. These are these are like zombie grins. What is it? Whoa. There's on some resident look look at this shit. This on some resident evil shit. It's like draining their energy. Go, go. Damn. I guess that's what happened to the people sleeping, right? It like drained their energy so much that they they couldn't stay awake and they ended up dying in their sleep. You know, malnutrition and whatnot. Is Maria gonna do something cool? An exit. An exit. Like this, this would be a good time for her to shine, right? And it's also being attracted by the relic. That's another thing. Dude, Blake is done. Dude, she is out. We might finally get the bleak that we were waiting for. Holy shit, this could be a thing. But I don't think they got. They don't have the balls to do that. Forgetting that's a thing. And suddenly the 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 debilitating effect wears off. And then they scream again and it's back there, okay. No. Damn. No. Dude, it's affecting their vision and shit, their perception. That's a nice shot. What color are your eyes? Oh, here we go. Maria knows about the silver eyes. She probably had them, right? You have a family? Friends? What? Don't think about them. Think about the people who love you. Focus on the thought of them. The way they make you feel. Life is beautiful. It is precious. And it must be protected. protected. Dude, she knows. So that's how it is. You have to think about, you know, like protecting your friends and shit. Power of friendship.
We're back in the house? Uncle Crow, get up! Hey, get off me. <laughs> what are you doing here? Get off me. you idiot. The, cr the cranky, uh, drunk. Aww. I mean, did they really have to hold hands there? I mean, I'm okay with, like, you know, LGBT representation, but try not to rub it in our face, though. Hey, what are you doing? That's a good... <laughs> That's good quality alcohol wise. <laughs> it's probably, I don't know, 50 years old or some shit. Ah, oh, she's burning them. Now we can leave. I wonder if there are some elements that's more effective against Grim than others. Like fire is more effective than ice, something like that. Is there is that a thing? Or you know I don't know. Like, like I said, we don't really know anything about the anatomy of Grimm. Like, you would think they would teach that in school or, you know, at this point they would have uh, told us something about it, but uh, that's not the case. We're kind of in the dark about the how empathy. they work. We just know that when they die, they kind of dissolve. They drain your will, the go on. Wow. Bartleby's estate that is so underrated. The end. He wanted to cut costs on Huntsman protection. But in order to do that, he needed everyone calm. Always. Managed to get two away from their pack. Hike back was miserable, but got the bastards in the cellar. Yeah. My wife thinks I was out sealing the waterway. The bastards. They're trying to uh, use more profanity the these these things take the edge off of everyone. I'm tired. Mm. The next page proves that he did. But not before the rest of the pack followed their missing pair all Ooh, so that's how that's My what happened. It, they made their way it got amplified because there's the so much. Tunnels. The idea was just to get two. Sealed up the next morning. Two will probably not kill you, right? Bartleby's but plan worked. Uh, a shit ton will really drain no you in, uh, or sad in a or quick scared. pace. No one was anything. And then... No one was left. Wow. I guess this episode kind of... Oh, I'll, I'll talk about it after the, vid, the episode. I'm sorry for what I said. About giving up. Me too. We can't quit until the lamp is safe. It's not your fault. It was those things i mean I is it just known. those things the didn't they just there, amplify what you were already feeling but i guess like that's that. not the case they do drain you so i suppose my mind just isn't what it used to be miss calavera miss calavera how do you know so much about the grim and in the tunnels you knew exactly what to say to make me to make my eyes do that how Drum roll, please. Well, isn't it obvious, girl? It is. I had silver eyes. Yes, exactly. All right, so that's the episode. Okay. So, if anything, the episode here uh, showed us that there are there are a wider set of different types of grim so that have different abilities like uh we from what we know the common ones are like the nevermores the uh dead stalkers the barba tusks those are just you know uh, very straightforward you don't see anything out of the ordinary if anything the nevermore can you know use their feathers as like projectiles but uh this grim has a what appears to be a sound based ability like if you hear that shing or whatever sound they make 
it it might it might just be like an like an audio cue for the audience watching and not really like uh detectable in the real world of remnant but yeah so they have that ability that it's something that you cannot really block it's something that you have to take and you have to like destroy them before your will runs out very scary and it also the episode also amplifies or shows maria's experience in the world of remnant which is pretty obvious because she looks old as fuck and being a silver-eyed uh, warrior uh, uh, knowing what to uh, tell ruby shows that she has used that before so she was she's more likely a warrior and not just some civilian that happened to have silver eyes so the fact that she um, used it before uh, tells us that she's probably uh, a respectable warrior uh, during her time and they did say before that those who know about the silver eyes are uh, not happy when one has surfaced so probably salem knew about maria having silver eyes and had one of the officers possibly i don't think it's Tyrion, because if it was Tyrion, maria would be dead by now so uh it could have been just grim that uh, eventually got maria and maria found a way to escape something like that hopefully we'll learn more about her um and she could probably teach ruby a, th a thing or two about that because we really don't know much about the silver eyes except um it you know grim die in its presence and uh that's about it and apparently it's uh it's strong against the maidens right i think salem said something about that but i'm not sure if that's because uh cinder was was cinder already part grim during beacon i'm curious about that because i have a feeling she just turned grim when um Uh, volume 4 when Salem was doing the whole don't fight it girl but anyway um, I don't want to keep rambling too much um, so yeah we can just have a discussion on, about that in the comment section if you guys like the content like share and subscribe if you want to support your boy even more links to uh, patreon in the description uh, everyone have a nice day I'll see you all in the next video cheers